Hi Divine Feminines and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I've been guided to do this reading especially for you all today. I always do these readings when I'm guided to do so. Um, and I really feel some of you may need some messages of hope and perhaps inspiration at the moment on your journey. Um, a few things came through as well in meditation before this reading. First of all, I kept hearing the song Born Free. That was the only part I was hearing, Born Free. <laughs> um, I think it's a feminine voice, quite high voice. And the message coming through there for some of you, I feel, is to free yourselves. Maybe some of you have the urge to do that. Now, this could be from a way of thinking a karmic situation, you know, job, relationship, um, addiction, thought pattern, whatever it is. I have actually been picking up on negativity for some of you in your energy. It sort of comes and goes. Sometimes you go through these negative periods where you just almost feel like giving up hope. You don't know what's going on for your DM because some of you don't have any communication at all. And then at other times your vibration lifts. So try to be around people who lift you up. Don't pull you down. That could also be what you need to free yourself from. Um, 3D energies who are more fixated on the matrix and don't really understand this journey. That's the other thing. You know, sometimes you might speak to those people and get confused because of what they tell you. Spirit's guiding you to drop into your heart. It's interesting we've got a lot of green. I was guided to wear green for this reading for a reason um, because green is the colour of the heart chakra so tap into your heart and how you feel. Um, now the negativity could sometimes be from the DM like you might be picking up on their energy. It doesn't mean they're being negative about you but there's something they're going through for example, especially if it comes on suddenly and then goes. I do feel some stuff's going down for them, but um, let's come back to you, Divine Feminine, because my guides want me to say, although obviously the DM is part of our journey and we wonder what they're going through and that kind of stuff, ultimately it's all about you, your journey of self-empowerment. So you actually empower yourself by standing strong, freeing yourself, um, feeling liberated, in control of your own life, first of all. And when you both stand strong, you know, seeing like two pillars, um, that's when the relationship is stable and could be very aligned, you know, when you're both aligned basically. Um, yeah, I'm getting irritation as well has come through for some of you at times. Recently, I felt you might have found, again, people around you are getting to you. Pay attention to your shadow side there. You know, someone's irritating you. Maybe there's something irritating you about you because they're your mirror. And I feel, again, this could be happening for the DM. There's mirroring, I do feel, happening. But and anyway, back to the DF for this reading. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my new deck, um, which is interesting. It's also green on the back. And this is the Priestess of Light Oracle, which I think is quite apt for Divine Feminines. Um, I'm currently trying to update my collection again, as I do year after year. Um, I'm updating my wish list as well, so if there are any decks any of you would like to see me use and you'd like to donate those, then please check out my Amazon wish list from which you can send me a deck. It's always very much appreciated. Anything I receive goes back into the channel, as you know. So, um, Let's just see what comes through for the Divine Feminine Collective.
So numbers, first of all, we've got one, six, 26 breaks down to an eight and 53 break down to an eight. So two eights, infinity symbol there. So, you know, balancing your yin and yang. So we've got portal, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. Yeah, some of you have gone through a shift through a portal and you're awakening to who you are. See this very empowered divine feminine here that I was talking about. That's the goal. Um, maybe in January with number one, they're highlighting one there. Um, that could have been the case. It's interesting we've got the word infinite as well. There's like infinite possibilities for you, divine feminine. If you just awaken your consciousness, which I feel is happening. We've got angelic assistance, divine guidance, loving support. So you are protected. Angels are working behind the scenes. I just got shivers there. Wow. It happens <laughs> during these readings. But um, yeah, it could be that you get shivers sometimes from things that happen in your life that you can't explain. And that is divine intervention. Um, you, you are supported and loved. Six there for love and harmony. It's beautiful. Earth magic. Fearlessness, removing obstacles. Yeah, this links with the born free that I was feeling. Um, being fearless, you can do it, Divine Feminine. You can remove those obstacles you have in your life, whatever they may be. Um, I feel for some of you, it's been, with that awakening consciousness, it's been the transition between ego and, and your soul, your soul, soul's calling. For some, some of you, it could have been, or it could be that you're thinking about starting a mission, new mission with number one there, something different, um, where you're being guided to help the collective. The horse there for power and strength as well. I mean, you might see horses as a sign for some of you. And then we, wow, we've got soul radiance, phoenix rising. Yeah, see, here's the empowered feminine within you all, rising, your soul radiating this beautiful energy. And you're very attractive to one feminine. You might find you attract lots of people when you're in this vibration, but you'll also attract people in the same vibration. You might find suddenly things shift and people who come into your life are more on your wavelength, you know, soul family, um, synchronicities start happening um, more so for some of you. With the wings there, yeah, it's like born free, flying free. <laughs> okay, um, bottom of the deck, clairvoyance. So trust your spiritual gifts. Um, you might get some inspiration come to you through downloads or, you know, when you, maybe some of you have tarot cards. This feminine is scrying in the water. It's another form of divination. Um, 35 breaks down to an 8 again. So we've got 888. A very lucky number. Um, again, it's about infinite love. Um, this infinite journey. You know, it's never ending. And we've got guide. Now, what I'm getting here is... Um, with the wolf, intuition, trust your intuition on your path, says the illuminated path. Obviously, you know, you've got a guide there, I feel. Could be, you know, could be that your spirit animal's a wolf, for example. Um, but some of you are now being driven to be a guide 
as well to others in the collective is it about mission wow we've got wings wings of light become something new yeah now this is like that born free energy isn't it um liberating yourself and it's happening at a fast speed here as well for some of you breaking free okay wow we've got lots of really empowering messages there that could resonate um with you. Okay, let's also pull a bit of tarot. Yeah, we've got three major arcana, which is showing quite a big turning point for some of you on your journey. Divine intervention here, because I'm just noticing the star in these two cards um, shining on you, shining the way on your path. We've got the first two major arcana, which definitely shows a new beginning. Some of you are venturing out alone, you're manifesting this, this new beginning, whatever it may be. You're trying to have hope, a lot of healing is coming through here. Butterflies showing transformation as well. Um, and with the Queen of Swords, it's interesting in this card um, how she... Now, you could be male or female, by the way, but she's very connected to the divine there, receiving downloads, finding clarity, um, cutting things out that no longer serve you, making good decisions. And again, we've got butterflies there as a symbol of change. We've got an eagle, which is all about power and strength, flying free. We've got feathers, you might be seeing feathers as signs as well. And here we've got guidance for some of you, I feel, um, to just be in this energy, meditate, try and align your chakras. And this is where alignment happens as well in your divine connection. Yeah, I'm getting very peaceful energy coming through. Even here, wow, with the lilies, symbol of peace. Very insular energy for some of you. So maybe some of you have uh, retracted your energy from the external world to find this enlightenment and um, to move forward on your path. So just highlighting this card as well where she's in, it looks like she's in the tree trunk. She's really retracted, see she's got her hands here protecting her, her arms. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like the imagery here, wow. That's amazing. So really focused on heart chakra healing, I feel, for some of you, which is helping you expand and create this new beginning. I mean, trees are very wise, so you might want to get out into nature. We've got 33, master number there. So I'm getting, really getting ascension coming through here for a lot of you. Um, awakening, as I said, awakening to your true purpose, I think is the main theme for this reading. Yeah, we keep getting cards here that are really resonating. Sacred action, decisive focus. So that's what some of you have been guided to do here. Make decisive um, action. If that makes, I don't know if that even makes sense. But <laughs> I'm really getting Africa. So, you know, this is reminding me of Born Free. 
the song that came through because I think the film I could be wrong but I'm sure it was set in Africa um, and is this a leopard correct me if I'm wrong everyone but um that's what I'm seeing seeing as a symbol of strength anyway again could be your spirit animal also number 17 the number of the star have hope you are blessed uh, you might be seeing double numbers like that 17 17 that's very common Okay, I'm going to pull some uh, Wisdom of the Oracle as well. Okay, we're going to take all of those. Serendipity, yeah, I'm sure I said that before. <laughs> Things, you know, happening, fall into place for a lot of you when you fly free. So we're seeing here four leaf clover you might see four leaves clo four leaf clovers sorry it's a bit of a mouthful um as a sign yeah i'm just getting a very liberated energy here for a lot of you you might really be feeling this recently coming out of the cocoon yeah happy happy come out so as you come out of the cocoon or the egg we've got here you, f you feel a lot better about yourself see the stars the stars are aligning showing you are blessed to the egg symbolizing a new beginning which keeps coming through okay so yeah observer some of you could have just been in a period like I said of pulling back and observing the signs that come to you, um, maybe observing people around you, who you want to be with, who you don't, in terms of relationships. But as I said before, I do also feel, you know, the DM watching you, especially at night. I feel this is when they feel your energy. It could be when you're meditating as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting a blocked throat chakra, so. Um, there's no communication for some of you at the moment. Now this sort of links with the serendipity as well. So you might receive a sign out of the blue from the divine, you know, like a message in a bottle, for example, that you find. Something on your path could be a feather, um, something that really inspires you. To make a change, the starfish there for regeneration changes. For some of you, this could be a message that comes your way, good news, could be a message from your DM. Um, but with 15 breaking down to a six, and the six there, angelic assistance, divine guidance, I feel this is a message from your angels that comes to you. And it, it just gives you hope, helps you to realise you're blessed, which you are. See, we've got stars again. I'm really getting protection here. You are protected. Um, and again, this is like a cocoon that you've been in. So if you've been in that energy, you've really been praying and meditating, aligning, cleansing. I feel 22, master number there. Symbol of alignment as well in your partnerships for some of you. And no place like home also links with the, um, you know, retracting your energy, maybe being at home a lot recently and just go with what you're guided to do. You know, if that's what you feel you need to do, then do that, Divine Feminine. Um, because to go through this transition we do need that period of, of um, solace and peace, if we can get it. <laughs> At home, we've got five there for change. We've got, yeah, this card keeps moving. 
I don't know if you've noticed that. I mean, I've been knocking it, but Spirit is, you know, urging me to pull that card up. <laughs> 44, another uh, double number. Gathering of blessings. Yeah, so you are blessed. Abundance is going to come your way, especially those of you who are in this empowered energy. Here, healed. Maybe, you know, at, uh, working in service as well. And this, yeah, I see why that card moved. They want, want us to look at this card. Go with the flow. Let go. Letting go. Cleansing. Receiving. So here's that flying free energy um, I said about before. Letting go of negative energies around you or within you um, it's really interesting again the hands there over the chest protecting yourself keeps coming out now the five of wands is about competition can be about competition conflict maybe around you and you just want this peace that you are desiring within that helps this passion rise up within you you know and then I'm seeing this explosion here like a volcano um, and it can also be for some of you things within yourself that you need to let go of cleanse your energy so that's strongly coming out for this reading I can see why I've been guided to do this reading, especially these cards, they're so powerful. Wow, I've not used them before, by the way, Divine Feminine, um, for any other readings. I've been guided to use them today, and this one is now standing out as well. We're going to take it. Releasing constraints. Some of you have been tied down. I can feel it in my energy now. I'm getting shoulder heaviness here. So it might manifest, as I said, in your body, on your shoulders. That can really show burdens that you're carrying. Um, or a job that's tied you down. I'm really feeling that for some of you. You um, possibly have a job and you come home and you just feel exhausted. You maybe work really long hours. And spirit is telling you, you know, urging you to go within and just look at what makes you happy. Does that make you feel happy? If you're coming home and feeling really tired, um, like you have no energy to do anything else and there are things you want to do, you've got this river of blessings ahead of you if you connect with your divine calling, I feel. Um, and again, we've got this Leopard, I think it is. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, because I'm not. I'm not great on. I love cats, <laughs> but I'm not great on um, on big cats and sort of differentiating. They look different, actually. Maybe one's that looks like a leopard. Is that a tiger or a cheetah? Not sure, but anyway, they're, they're fast, aren't they? They go after what they want. Powerful as well, a lot of power. So it doesn't really matter what they are, but um, just being a bit pedantic. <laughs> okay, Divine Feminine, I'll leave it there. I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. It's brought you some empowerment and enlightenment on your journey. Thank you so much for watching. Sending lots of love to you all.